Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you are in the world. For all of you wonderful people out there, I want you to look at your chart and find your Pisces placement. And when you do, wherever that placement is, look at it and study it and know that <clears throat> you could be in a season of turnaround, a season of redemption, a season where the undoing has finally paid off. That means all of your good that you've been sowing has finally paid off. Um, when I say good, I mean where you may have seen that in the past um, you needed to make some changes. Pisces, um, the 12th house, is the house of undoing. And I should say Neptune's house. However, it's the 12th house. But what I wanted you guys to do is look at your placement. Wherever you find the symbol for Pisces at, you should have been working to make changes in yourself and in your environment according to uh, the universe, according to God um, and those uh, instructions that you understand about goodness and mercy. And when you find it, again, look up areas that that house has to do with. Like if you have Pisces um, in the the fourth house, that is um, dealing with your home. And there could have been illusions concerning your home life, your family life. It could have been a generational issue concerning a home. You, you, you might have thought that you would always be lacking a home and you were to think positive and to sow positive seeds and into your family in your home, to love your family, that kind of thing, to nurture the family because the fourth house is Cancer's house. So um, the reason why I am encouraging you to look at it because you could get a definitive understanding concerning the Pisces moon is coming up on the 1st or the 2nd of September. Um, it's bringing a change. Uh, it, it's also bringing um, in karma for those that didn't understand what they needed to do with this placement. So if you have the placement, look it up and then think back to even your birth uh, up to eight years after your birth and then eight years afterwards because the eight year period so into the equation of a um, flower being created in the heavens. Um, Venus draws out um, lines from one planet to another. And those are Leo, Aries, Capricorn, and um, Scorpio. And so there's five points every eight years that are met. And as you sow in your good, what happens is, is that your good is coming um, out of it. And that is relative to a cycle. So Pisces is bringing in a ushering of good and um, negative for some people in the areas of karma concerning a cycle of time. And that's not just eight years because some people have been working on a cycle for all of their life. They didn't know it. It could be 18 years. However, um, this is something that is important and it is nuggets to give you on the astrological heavenly um, aspects of what happens in your chart according to Pisces, because Pisces is ruled by um, Neptune. And Neptune is about illusions and delusion, delusions. So, you know, if we come into this world with illusions and delusions, even according to what's going on in the world right now, some things are not the truth. What you work to do is go within and meditate to find the truth. And you can only get that truth by anchoring yourself with the universe, with God and prayer. And that's why we encourage you to go into prayer, take up yoga, to still the mind and hear from um, the still small voice within you. So um, you can email me at ifwbuilders at gmail.com and um, we can get together. You also can join um, our social media movement at IFW Builders. Um, I have a link to our mobile app. It's an awesome new thing that we're doing and we're moving into the Aquarius age for freedom for the people. And that is advocation um, for mental illness, for healing, for homelessness, um, for those that have been through social issues concerning uh, divorce, um, 
women being unjustly served, uh, abuse um, for children, you know, all of the areas um, we have connections with people that um, uh, serve for di- disability. So reach out and touch, connect so that we can build our tribe with you. You can be a part and have support in whatever you're going through um, financially, food pantries all over the world, um, in Nevada, in um, Florida, in Texas, um, help meet um, in California, uh, and in Georgia. So we thank you for listening and um, be blessed.